Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome to my channel. As you know, we are talking about pregnancy. In the last few videos, we have already talked about what diet you should follow in pregnancy, what should you eat, what should you avoid. And we have already talked about how you can fulfill your nutritional requirements if you are a pure vegetarian and uh, how and why you gain so much of weight in pregnancy. We have talked about many things in the past few videos. Don't forget to watch those videos after you watch this one. And today I'm going to talk about how to manage some of the most common problems during pregnancy like constipation, uh, nausea, vomiting, gas problems, how to manage them. So let's start. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. So guys, first I'm going to talk about constipation. See what happens, the iron that is given during the prenatal period along with other vitamins and other things can actually cause constipation during pregnancy. It's a side effect of iron. So what you need to do is try to get more fiber than you did before you became pregnant. Now try to eat about 20 to 30 grams of fiber per day. So what fiber does, it facilitates your bowel motions and therefore relieves you of constipation. So it helps you to solve this problem during your pregnancy. So how you can get your fiber you can get fiber the best sources of fiber are fresh fruits and vegetables eaten with their skin if you can eat fruits with their skin whosoever which whichever fruit has an edible skin you can you should eat them with the skin after washing and peeling and properly cleaning them making sure that all the wax is taken out from the apples so that's also important and you should eat whole grain foods, whole grain cereals, breads, muffin from whole grains, not uh, maida. You should not eat refined white bread, you should eat brown bread, right? So that's an important concept. Then some people can even use, some. then some people may use fiber tablets or drinks or fiber supplements or high fiber products. but. You need to check with your doctor before trying them because you never know which product might lead to diarrhea or which might not be a pure product having an additional element which is not good for you. So you have to check them with your doctor. Don't use any laxatives while you are pregnant unless and until your doctor advises you to do so and avoid the old wife's remedy the homemade remedy of castor oil because it can actually interfere with your body's ability to absorb nutrients so don't use castor oil don't use laxatives use fiber but discuss with your doctor what you need to what supplements you need if you need them you can eat natural fiber as much as you want from fruits and vegetables and whole grains then if constipation is a problem for you, your doctor may prescribe some stool softeners. You can take them. Then be sure to take plenty of oral fluids, drink a lot of water, especially when you are increasing your fiber intake or else fiber itself can cause stomach upset and bloating. That can make you constipated. That can actually make your constipation worse. So one of the best way to avoid constipation is to get more exercise, be physically active, drink plenty of water between meals each day to help soften your stools and move food through your digestive system. Sometimes hot tea, soups or broth can also help. Also keep dried fruits handy for snacking. You need to keep snacking, eat intermittently. Eat small frequent diets during pregnancy that's also important to avoid constipation don't eat too much at a time so that's all about constipation then let's talk about gas acidity problems during pregnancy some pregnant women find that some type of food products like broccoli spinach cauliflower and fried foods give them heartburns or gas problems you can plan a balanced diet to avoid these foods so all you need to do is plan a balanced diet to avoid these kind of foods. Then carbonated drinks, all the soft drinks, sodas which you take can also cause gas and heartburns in many women. Although often many people believe that they can actually relieve them of the gas 
because they do calm the digestive system but they themselves can cause heart bumps and gas in some women so if that is the case you need to avoid them as well then tea coffee obviously tea coffee can also lead to gas and acidity and you need to avoid them as well smoking will also lead to a gas and acidity avoid that smoking is very bad obviously nonetheless alcohol and smoking should not be done during pregnancy i forgot this point in the last video about smoking but smoking should not be done obviously nandan and say smoking is obviously bad for even non pregnant people so smoking is not recommended at all even a bit not even little bit then nausea nausea and vomiting if you are often nauseated then you need to eat small amount of bland food don't eat spicy food don't eat any oily food throughout the day right any masala don't eat that some women find it helpful to eat food made with ginger some might not what can you do what can you do to combat this nausea what you can do is you can take your prenatal vitamins before going to bed after you have eaten the snack and not on an empty stomach that can help then eat a small snack when you get up to go to the bathroom early in the morning that can also help and relieve your nausea the third thing which you can do is you can actually suck on a hard candy a simple candy kept in the mouth soothes your throat and actually can relieve you of the nausea which you are facing so these are the small simple tricks which can help you manage your nausea your gas your constipation without medications during pregnancy hope you like the videos don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon guys don't forget to share these videos with all your friends and family and do check out other videos on pregnancy on my channel so this series is going to go on many videos are going to keep coming so don't forget to watch them and hit the bell icon so let me know how you feel about them so we i'll see you tomorrow those who don't know me i'm dr param ji the consultant physician and cardiologist in yashoda super speciality hospital nehru nagar delhi ncr and this is my channel so see you tomorrow guys stay connected stay healthy